Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you have been requesting an update regarding my plans like how they are doing and what have I been doing. So I just wanted to film a short video because now again I'm getting back on YouTube. There was a lot of stuff to do like we moved from our previous house. We are proud homeowners right now. I have a lawn in the front yard as well as in the backyard uh, which I'll show you in a bit. And I will also show you how my plants are doing. I had uploaded the videos for avocado, for dandelions, tomatoes. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll just show you uh, an update of how they are doing. I didn't film, so this was off camera, but I also tried to germinate seeds for lemon and oranges and also chamomile. And these plants are doing really good for now. I also propagated mint as well as lemongrass. We just moved here two weeks ago, so the lawn is pretty much covered in weed and grass and nothing much. I had a few plants that I that I put in the ground. I don't know what will happen in the freeze. So let's go in. I will start with avocado. So this is how my avocado is doing right now. I didn't plant it in the ground. So you, you can see the seed here. This I have put for the fungal gnats. That's a common problem for the indoor plants. Plant is doing pretty well, uh, but I'm not sure how uh, the avocado will survive in, in the winters and the frost. So I have just kept it outside, but I have not yet transferred it to the ground. I had one more avocado that I had transferred to the ground. I'll show that in a bit. I'm scared to transplant it to the ground. Let's go to the tomatoes. I germinated one more seed for tomato and this is how it's doing. It's doing pretty well, I think. It has very large leaves. Please don't mind the weeds and the grass here. It's the previous owner, I think they didn't feel the need to maintain it properly. Okay, so this is this was one tomato plant and I'll show you the other one. This is the other one and yesterday I saw that there is a bud there like if you see see the buds here so the camera is not focusing yeah so you can see the buds the flowers flower buds here this is the big bud here I don't see it this is the small one what is the big one? Oh, this is the big one this is the big one and I was telling you about the avocado that I had transferred to the ground. So this is the one. It's not in a good shape. So I'm not very proud to show you this. But I hope that it will recover because I see new leaves as well. But it's, it's kind of drooping. I'll just fertilize it a little bit more and just hope that it gets back on track. The next thing that I was telling about is oranges. So I grew these indoors. And I just transplanted, um, I just transplanted these to the ground like just three to four days before, and it's doing pretty good. So if you can see, um, there are new leaves here in this one, and that one is. I mean, those are just two stems. Those are not two plants. The plant is just one. So there are two stems, and they are doing good. I just need to plant the uh, frost and winter protection for oranges as well. Now I'll show you my strawberries. This is the strawberry patch. I'm very happy with the strawberry, how it's doing because you can see these are the new leaves here. You can see the, the ones here. Oh, right. So you can see the, see the runners and the new leaf that's coming out of it. There are a lot of new leaves if you see this is my lemon and i have not yet transplanted this into the ground i'm just i'm just waiting like there is a lot of work to do these are another two uh, lemons that i need to transplant i haven't done it my pepper plant is kind of dehydrated but i have other peppers that are doing well let me show you that okay so this is one of my pepper plant here and this is another one and that's the third one if you see if you observe closely you'll see that it has it has buds same for that one that has buds as well and this is this is the chamomile the area that we are in we are in waterloo and that has a lot of wild chamomile but this is the one that i germinated from seeds and i think it's pretty it's doing pretty good in the ground these are the store-bought mint that I transplanted here. Has a lot of new leaves as you can see. 
the next thing is this big chili plant this i got it from someone else so it's not very well known and i don't have a very high expectations because it was just for one dollar it's doing just fine this is the another this is the chili plant that i transplanted i had grown these from the seeds and and then i transplanted it here it was not doing so well in the pot but i think it's doing pretty well right now it has i can also see a lot of buds here so i hope we can get some chilies soon <laughs> and this is another this is the other chili pot. so basically i made a patch like if you will see so that's also chili i don't know how it's doing because it's the leaves are all yellow and everything but okay so this is the, my chili patch here i have one two uh, three chilies and then i have a lily here and then i have mint here and then again i have one two three chilies and chamomile here so i have another mint here the story behind this mint is when i came to this house we had a puja a green pravesh puja and that day i transplanted i transferred the mint from the pots to here whenever i look at it i remember that day i also have put parsley here these are I think I, I don't have a lot of hope but I think they are doing okay. I just need to water these today. Let me give you an overview. So that's the backyard entry and when you come here you will see tomatoes, then you will see lily, then you will see rose, another rose. I have some wildflowers. These I grew from seed, pretty small. But still I am amazed at how these are growing when I planted this in the ground when these were in the in the pots they were doing horrible they were not growing so okay these are some forget me nots these are also doing quite well this is the tomato this is the avocado this is the orange uh, one that i already showed you so that's how it looks mm -hmm. and those are some hydrangeas that's wild chamomile i know i should have plugged it out but i didn't because I kind of like the flowers plus there, there are bees and birds that come here so I'm okay. Uh, these two, two are cosmos that's um, marigold that's mint that I already showed that's the avocado tree that's a perennial cat mint yet to go in the ground you go here that's salvia uh, no sorry that's I don't know the name of that plant yet I need to find that out that's salvia and that one there right there uh, is chamomile that I started from seeds then again these are pepper patches chilies 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 this is a fire pit we haven't used it but I have put some tulsi plants in here uh, let me... okay so we have some tulsi tulsi plants if you can see yeah I have three to four tulsi and yet again here is a strawberry patch so let me give you a 360 degree view that's how it looks mm -hmm. that's a rose and that's um mock orange i believe i've never seen a flower yet but i hope to see it next fall and that's right there is my house Okay, now update regarding the dandelions, which so many people had requested. What happened is I started dandelion in the cup and the seeds sprouted in the beer cups, but I think it's meant to grow on the ground, which is why it didn't, it didn't grow that much for me. Uh, like it was very uh, small. And then what happened since I was, uh, I was living in a condo that time and I had and it was winters and I had to put all my plants indoors. My whole garden was kind of attacked by fungus gnats. I had a lot of heartbreak when I saw like my plants dying, like the fungal gnats were eating the plant, the roots of the plants gradually because they were flying around in the house and without any control. And that was not a good scene. But we bought some beneficial mites, we bought those sticky traps and we, um, we sprayed with hydrogen peroxide. We started bottom watering and uh, like it got in control but by then it was summer and we got a house and then my plants were outside and then we were starting all these plannings to move. I didn't attempt 
uh, starting dandelions from seed once again but yes since many of you have requested i will definitely do that once again let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see a, a house tour and how i decorate my space that's it for today you guys i have a lot of work to do in the lawn i have to mow it mulch it i have to pull the weeds out and trim everything i will keep you posted and you will be getting the videos from me every friday from now stay tuned and take care bye